What's up, my mustache man? Have you started? Have you done it? Are you growing it? What is the weight? Now, obviously for my attitude, I am super pumped because I am at that time where you guys should be at of growing out that mustache, of actually being able to start styling it out. And we're kind of getting through the hurdle of the awkward phase. Now that first month, I really recommend tightening up that lip line. That's gonna make this process a lot easier and a lot cleaner. What happens is this bottom portion of that mustache, as it starts growing out, is gonna start curving right into your top lip. And that's because of a couple reasons. One, like myself, I'll sometimes mush my lips together and then my mustache gets caught in it and it starts diving in. But another reason why is because of a cowlick that the mustache has and majority of men out there, that mustache just tends to curl in. And on the outskirts of that mustache right here, for me, the handlebar, that's where we need to actually start training our mustache and this is the time to do so. Now, remember, we're in the second uh, month of mustache growth and you're not gonna get that full handlebar yet. We're, we're not there yet, but this is the time to start training your hair and training your mustache to be and stay where it needs to lay. And then to do so, we're gonna need some product like mustache wax. Now, my recommendation on this is not to start doing this in the morning, but actually in the afternoon at nighttime. The reason why, because in the morning, you're gonna have just a gob of mustache wax and it looks like you put just an absurd amount for no in particular reason. And you know, you're gonna go out to your peers and they're just gonna see this gob amount of product. And it's not the most favorable, but if you do it in the afternoon, in the evening, and you're not uh, you know, very social like myself uh, during that time, you're gonna have a better chance for it to be, to be able to train. And if you think about it too, I just, this kind of hit my head, is you know, a lot of you know, women, or for example, men, I guess, it doesn't matter about gender, but you actually, like if you do your perm or you curl your hair, after that shower, you know, yeah, you're heating up, you're putting in your curls, you'll heat it up, you'll go to bed at night, you wake up, boom, your hair is all curly. And it's the same with the mustache and the beard in particular, because we're training the hair to stay and lay where it needs to stay and lay. <laughs> Jumping into it, go down to the description. It doesn't matter if it's Bolt, if it's Beard Brand, if it's Artius Man, I got a link down there for you. Pick which one you want. Uh, any mustache wax is gonna work. My favorite in particular are more malleable waxes. The ones that are stiffer that you're gonna have to use your thumb to pry out, uh, that for me is a little later on in your mustache game. But for, for me and always, I like a more malleable mustache wax. And the reason why is one, you don't have to heat it up as much as the harder wax is. Usually when you have that harder wax, you're gonna pull out just a little bit. You have to really work it into your fingers and really work it into your stash. Or if you have a more malleable product, you're gonna be able to just hit it right away, put it, some, you know, put the comb in there, maybe use a little bit of heat from the hair dryer, and you're good to go. But it all depends on your preference. So a good example is I'm gonna take just a little bit, all right? We don't need an absurd amount yet, but for right now, we just need a little bit and depends on if you wanna use your finger. I'm not very in particular about using the thumb and the thumbnail. A, you know, I bite my nails a little bit, but two, when you use the nail, it gets under the nail and I feel like I'm wasting product, but that's just me. Everyone's different. Back at it, we're just gonna take a little bit and we're gonna to rub together in between my first index finger, right? My first, my index finger. And then I like to actually move it a little bit onto my middle and my thumb. So I got the three fingers ready to go. And this is gonna cover every aspect of your mustache. So the index finger, what I like to do is I like to start on the top and we're just gonna separate and make the part that's in the mustache. And then as I'm going along, I'm gonna start pushing up, out, and away. So it's kind of down to the side. And then as I get down to the bottom, we're just gonna push out to the side. All right, now we're gonna take the middle finger and we're actually gonna start pushing up as we move down and out towards the outer portions of your lip. And then the thumb comes in actually to start pinching out that handlebar, all right, if you want to. If you wanna not have that handlebar and you just wanna grow up you know, a nice thick mustache, uh, this is to you as well. But like I said, we're gonna throw it out to the side with the first index finger. God, I said it again. And then we're gonna come around with the middle finger to push it out. And then the thumb's gonna come in as I twirl with my index, I'm actually gonna pinch with my thumb and that's gonna get the bottom 
part of the mustache, as you can see, it's already starting to flare it out right there. And we're not gonna twist, all right? Remember, we don't twist. I just wanna come around and coat. So we'll pinch with the thumb as well, and we're just gonna separate, and we're going to cover and coat. Now right there, I don't have a mirror behind me. This is just something that's very natural that I've done before many, many times. And what is happening right now is that my hair from the top, right by my nose, is almost to that point where it's reaching that top upper lip. And this is where we don't wanna cut anymore. The handlebar's already there, and now we're just going to wait for the bottom portion of the lip to catch up to the side, and as well for the top to meet the actual top of the lip. And this is where the blending will happen, and things will become cohesive, things will become co coming together, and you'll have a great look to the mustache that you're growing out. Now to continue this, you want this to become a habit, and after this becomes a habit, you'll notice how much you're touching your mustache. And this is the process of training your mustache hairs. And because we're putting in a more, you know, a, a, an a copious amount of wax, is that as it stays in there, your mustache is gonna kind of go here and there as the afternoon goes on. And so since there's just, like I said, in a copious amount, we're just gonna go back in there, touch it again, move it out, and there you go. So that way, once the wax is out and then your mustache is grown out, you'll be surprised you really won't need that much when it's all said and done. You'll use half of what we used, you'll put it in, you'll comb it out, and it will naturally lay and stay there as we have trained it over the past month. And that's where we're at right now. So this is my second month into the beard, into the mustache growth, excuse me. And then within the third month, you'll be surprised I won't need as much. And before you know it, I'll actually just be able to style it out with my brush and that'll be pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think. If you got some problems or you need some tips, go ahead and leave a comment down there. I'll try to address them, make a video out of it. That way I can help you out. With that being said, like and subscribe. Check me out on all that social media and make sure to check out the other channel. Uh, me and my girlfriend, we're doing jujitsu, we're doing workouts. Uh, we're getting sponsored by different companies. It's a really fun thing. So uh, with that, you guys, I will see you on the flip side. See ya!